On Monday, you may be among the more than 32 million people across America who will find themselves in the path of a total solar eclipse. And the next chance to see one in the U.S. won't be for another two decades in 2044. Joining us now, Babak Tafreshi, a Nat Geo explorer and photojournalist. Babak, thank you so much for joining us. Now, you've documented 13 eclipses all across seven continents, yet you say Monday's event is even more special for a few reasons. Tell us why. Sure. Yeah, one reason is it's longer than the last total solar eclipse in the U.S. in 2017 was about two minutes. This is up to four and a half minutes, especially in the lower part of the path in Texas and Mexico. As we head to the northeast part of the path, it would be about three and a half minutes, of course, in the center line of the totality. If you are closer to the edge of the path, it will be um, shorter total solar eclipse, while about 31 or 32 million people are inside the path as residents. There are millions of people coming to the path of totality to view it within a range of 200 miles from this narrow shadow of band, which is about 100 miles wide. I think there are more than 200 million people living. So it's a huge amount of viewers to a spectacular natural phenomena, one of the probably most viewed natural phenomena in our history. And millions of Americans hoping to catch a glimpse of the eclipse, of course. You have to protect your eyes. Use those solar viewing glasses. But you say people will also need special filters for their cameras. That includes smartphones if they want to try and snap a photo here. So what should everyone know? Well, it's definitely very important to protect your eyes during the partial solar eclipse. During the totality, you don't need any um, eclipse glasses. So that's the only moment you can remove the eclipse glasses to enjoy the total solar eclipse because the corona around the sun is fainter. But partial eclipse, even at 99%, can harm our eyes. And we don't have pain sensors in the retina, so it's very important to take care of that because you don't notice uh, the impact on your eyes until a few hours later. So it's very easy to protect your eyes. Whenever you're looking at the sun, you have to wear these eclipse glasses. Sunglasses do not work. Homemade uh, glasses do not work. If you're using any homemade filter, um, it's not safe to use it. During totality, let's say um, a couple of seconds before, we have this spectacular phenomenon known as the diamond ring. The last ray of the sun is shrinking and disappearing. And that's the moment you can remove the eclipse glasses and look at totality, look at the planets, uh, Venus and Jupiter on both sides of the sun, look at the corona, the outer atmosphere of the sun, look at the little prominences, the red dots, look at the colors all around the horizons, like a 360 degree sunset. And also look at some less known phenomena, for example, a minute before totality and a minute after, there is this mysterious atmospheric phenomena known as the shadow bands that doesn't come in every eclipse, but it's fascinating to see these rapidly moving shadows and lights or to record them. From the photography point of view, as you ask, uh, you definitely need to protect your camera, the sensor and the lens during the partial eclipse, especially when you're using a long telephoto lens with a big objective. Um, it's not needed to use a solar filter necessarily, but very uh, strong ND filter. Uh, many people may use just a cell phone. You can use your cell phone as well. You have several options for magnification. I recommend to use the 1X magnification. The main lens and the main sensor has the best quality in low light imaging. Nowadays, these cell phone cameras are able to capture uh, stars and the Milky Way and definitely the solar eclipse during totality is uh, doable too. You can, since you're using a cell phone with wide angle, you can think about some foregrounds, people in silhouette, trees, a natural attraction, or a monument would make the image very unique. Great advice. And just listening to you talk about this, it's got us all very excited over here. Babak Tafreshi, thank you so much for the time. We appreciate it. And we'll be checking back in with you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.